Five-year-old Iman is one of many beneficiaries at a health care clinic which has been set up by the International Organization for Migration at a transit center for displaced victims sheltering from conflict in South Sudan. Her elder sister Manal brought her in when she fell sick. <laughs> The primary health care center, which operates within a United Nations mission in South Sudan compound, has been in operation for two weeks now. We have currently set up a health clinic here. It's a primary health care unit. Uh, we established it on July 13th, immediately after the fighting, immediately after the ceasefire, and we were able to get access to the site here. <laughs> this health facility offers immediate life-saving primary health care for the displaced at the site. The facility also offers help for patients who come in for general consultations, basic reproductive health services, and acute watery diarrhea. Complicated cases of watery diarrhea are referred to Juba Teaching Hospital, while other partners also take on more complicated cases. So we're seeing on average between 150 to 220 patients a day, and the top morbidities are generally malaria, because we are in the rainy season, which is to be expected, as well as ARIs, which are acute respiratory infections. We're also seeing a lot of skin diseases um, and some acute watery diarrhea. And now, as we know, the cholera outbreak has been declared in Juba, and we have seen some suspected cases of cholera here at the site. Working round the clock for sometimes 16 to 20 hours, and with enough medical supplies so far, dedicated medical teams on the ground, including other IOM staff, have also been able to set up this facility, which has assisted numerous patients. Last week, the Ministry of Health issued a press statement and held a press conference to issue formally the cholera alert for Juba City, um, Juba Town. And what we have seen so far is between uh, six cases, specifically at our clinic here in Umas Tongping. And what we're doing is we're working with the Ministry of Health and Partners to try to do triage as best possible. Um, the current uh, protocols on the ground are that only severely dehydrated patients should be referred to the CTC, which is the cholera treatment centre being run by the Ministry of Health and MSF at Juba Teaching Hospital. Together with the medical teams, IOM also runs a community awareness program through hygiene promoters who go to all corners of the transit area, disseminating key messages on common diseases like diarrhea, malaria and cholera and are also involved in active case finding so as to refer those sick at home to clinics.